now move on to applications of biology applications of biotechnology in the field of medicine or healthcare in fact one of the largest applications of biotechnology are found in the field of healthcare or medicine it may be in the large scale production of medicines which may be in the form of hormones vaccines antibodies and so on large scale production of such products or it may be in a newer technology called gene therapy which involves replacement of the defective gene and another important field where biotechnology is being applied is in the development of diagnostics tools involved in the identification and curing of diseases diagnostics like for example elisa which is used for detecting aids the recombinant dna technology and so on so these are the three major fields where biotechnology is being applied today in the field of healthcare let us take an example for each one of these now one of the important advances that has occurred in the field of healthcare or medicine is the availability of genetically engineered medicines genetically engineered medicines many medicines may be hormones or enzymes or vaccines whatever it is are now being developed using recombinant dna technology or tissue culture or any other method using bacteria so that we are in a position now to produce them on a large scale one example for this is the production of human insulin production of human insulin by the bacteria Escherichia coli <coughs> Insulin as we know is one of the hormone produced by beta cells 
a hormone produced by beta cells in the eyelids of Langerhans. of pancreas. Islets of Langerhans as you know represent the endocrine portion of pancreas. Insulin is very important for the maintenance of blood sugar concentration. So, it has a significant role in what is described as carbohydrate metabolism. It is the prime hormone involved in maintaining the blood sugar level. As you are aware, deficiency of insulin deficiency of insulin causes either qualitative or quantitative deficiency of insulin causes the disease diabetes mellitus in most cases, patients suffering from diabetes mellitus need to be given insulin need to be given insulin in the form of injection. As you know, as of today, insulin has to be substituted only in the form of injection and not in the form of a tablet because insulin is a protein. It is a proteinaceous hormone. So, if insulin is orally taken, it may undergo digestion by the proteolytic enzymes. So, it may not be available to the cells as insulin. Therefore, it is injected into the body directly. Of course, in the recent years, there is a serious attempt to produce insulin in the form of tablets, insulin in a form in which it cannot be digested. Now that apart, till 1980s, till the middle of 80s, insulin, the source of insulin for injection, source of insulin for injection was the pancreas removed from the dead body of cattle. The pancreas used to be removed crushed, insulin was extracted from that, purified and then sold as injection. But there is a difference, a slight difference in the amino acid composition of the human insulin and the insulin from cattle. Therefore, 
insulin injection given to human patients for diabetes in many cases used to create some allergic disorders side effects were there but now this problem has been overcome this problem has been overcome now there is a technique by which human insulin human insulin is now being produced by genetically modified bacteria Escherichia coli so let us see what was the technique involved in this